Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tunde Victor. Follow me on Instagram at Tunde Victor7. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to color grade skin tools in Capture One and also how to make the skin to look even. I'll also be showing you how to use the mask option in Capture One. So let's get started. So this is my Capture One interface. I've already done the basic adjustments for this image. I've already reduced the highlight and um, worked on the shadows um, just the basic adjustment so let's see this is how it was this is how it was before and this is the after so i've just done the basic adjustment so right now i'm going to be showing you how to color grade your skin to the capture one so i'll come to this my color tab right here so i'll just click on it i'll try and go slow because i want you guys to understand so under the color editor right here just come down and click on your color editor so under your color editor you are going to see your basic advanced and skin tone so what you have to do is to click on your skin tone so once you click on your skin tone the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to pick this uh picker tool right here so i'm just going to look and see say pick any part of the skin you want so i'm just going to zoom in like this and to zoom in capture one all you have to do is hold your control and uh, your click on your, your plus to zoom in and your minus to zoom out i'm not going to zoom in like this and hold your uh, space bar key hold it down and just use your mouse to drag around capture one like that so i'm just going to leave it like this and um i'm just going to pick a part of the skin with this my picker tool right here so i want my skin um yeah i want my skin to the skin of my model to look like this place right here so i'm just going to pick here and um looking at the skin you can see it's looking it's not looking uniform some parts are red some parts are too yellow some parts are like that like here on our neck right here it's looking red here too is looking kind of red and um a hand right here is looking kind of red too i just i'm just going to uh, make the skin to look even and to look like this place i selected so after making a selection the next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my views view selected color range right here at the bottom right here so once i click on my view selected um color range places that are not selected are going to be black and white while the places that are selected are just going to remain the reason why it's not showing black and white is because the background and the skin tone are the same if you are using a different background, the background is going to turn to black and white. Now, let me show you what I mean. So, I'll just come and use another photo to explain that part for you. So, I'll come here. So, I'll click on this photo right here. And I'll come back to my color tab. Come to my skin tone. And once I sample this part of the skin like this. And, um... I hit my view selected color range parts that are not selected are turned into black and white you can see the background is turning into black and white so you can see part of the lips is turning into black and white so if i turn it on again it will show if i turn it off parts that are not selected is going to turn to black and white many these parts that are black and white any adjustment i make is not going to affect those parts of the image even if I turn it on and, and I make the adjustment like this, it's not going to be affecting those parts of the image. It's just going to be affecting the skin. So if I turn it off, you can see those parts I selected are not affected. So any selection I made is going to be affecting this selected part. Why for this image right here? Because the background and the skin are the same, any adjustment I make is going to be affecting both the background and the skin as you can see so i'm just going to undo that by clicking on this arrow key right here so i'm just going to undo that and bring it back to default now the question is how do i make the adjustment affect just the skin tone without affecting the background so i'm going to show you how to do that and to do that all you have to do is to create a new a new feed adjustment layer and use your and mask the background out of the selection so to do that all you have to do is come to your layer right here capture one has layer like photoshop 
so this is the capture one layer so i'm just going to right click right here so once i right click i'm going to be adding a new feed adjustment layer so once i add a new feed adjustment layer i'm just going to rename it to skin tune like that so the next thing i'm going to do right now i want to be masking the background out of my selection i want only my subject to be selected so all i'm going to do i'll come to my mask right here this is the mask icon in capture one so this is also how to use the mask in capture one so i'm going to click on my mask right here so once i click on my mask i'm going to click on my m once you click on m on your keyboard it's going to display your mask for you and once you click on m again it's going to hide your mask just click on m to see your mask and m to hide it like that so all i have to do right now is paint on my subject so once i'm painting as you can see i'm painting but it's not displaying all i'm going to do is come here and just right click here and just click on invert mask so once i click on my invert mask i'm just going to paint so i'm just going to paint like this remember if you want to see your mask all you have to do is press m to reveal your mask and m also to hide it so i'm just going to reveal my mask right now so i'm just going to paint over my subject like this and if i feel i made a mistake or i feel I'm, i made a mistake right here i'm just going to pick my eraser tool right here this is my eraser tool and i'm just going to erase that part like that and to make your brush bigger or smaller you can just hit this um square bracket key on your keyboard so i'm just going to erase that part of it and i'm going to continue with my mask tool and you don't have to paint all around the subject all you have to do is just paint at the edge and i'll show you why so i'm just going to paint around the edge like this you don't have to just paint this edge so just paint around the edge that's all you need to do and the, uh, your, uh, your masking doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to get the perfect masking and i'll also show you why so like this once i'm done like this i'll come back to this place right here i'm just right click and once i right click i'll click on fill mask once i click on fill mask capture one is automatically going to fill my selection for me and you can see the edges are kind of rough so what i'm going to do now i'll come back here again click right click on this place and i'll click on refine mask so once i click on refine mask i'll just i'll just move my sliders so once i move my sliders i'll wait for it to load you can see it's loading as you can see the mask is being refined just look at the edge just look at the edge as well, i'm just going to move this one up a bit i say i'll move it to about let's say 113 just look at the edge and you can see what is doing to the edge you can see the mask is looking smooth right now so once you are okay with it you can move it if you want but once you're okay with it just click on apply so after we finish masking it out to hide our mask we're just going to click on m on the keyboard and it's going to hide our mask so right now any adjustment i make it's not going to be affecting the background it's just going to be affecting with the area we mask which is the subject so and the reason why i mask a shirt also is because the shirt is black and the shirt does not have the same color as the skin if the shirt was red or it has a bit of yellow i'm going to mask out the shirt also and just leave the skin so that's why i mask that that's why i mask the shirt together with the skin because it's not going to affect the shirt so after that i'm just going to click on my m on my keyboard to hide my mask so i'll come back to my color editor and i'll come back to my skin tone so once i'm my skin tone right now once i select this um, part which i want my skin to be i want my skin tone to be like this to look like this so even if i make any adjustment right now like this it, you can see it's affecting only the skin is not affecting the background as you can see all the adjustment i'm making right now is affecting only the skin and not affecting the background that is because the bag the um subject is being masked out of the background so that's how you mask in capture one and so the next i'm going to be doing right now i'm going to be working on the skin tone so to do that i'll just come here pick my color picker and just pick on the part i want my skin to look like 
but I want my skin to look like this part right here, this yellow part. So I'm just going to select from here. So after making the selection, I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to zoom out right now and just turn all my select view selected color range again. And once I turn on my view selected color, uh, color range, as you can see, with the selection I made, it's affecting the lips because and I don't want it to affect the lips so I'm just going to reduce the um, smoothness like this a little bit but it's still affecting the lips so what I'm going to do I'm going to mask the lips out so to do that I'll click on the M on my keyboard to reveal my mask and I'll just pick my eraser tool and just erase the lips out of the selection like that and everything I'm going to do is not going to be affecting the lips so i feel uh, i need to add this back to the selection so i'm just going to add that place back to the selection so i'm going to turn off my mask i'm going to hide my mask by clicking on m again and um, we are good so i'm just going to turn this off like this and just adjust my skin tone so i'm just going to bring my um uniformity i'm going to work on the hue of my uniformity i'll bring it to about 40 or uh, let's say 35 and i'll bring my saturation saturation to about 15. i think the skin is looking good like this so let's see uh before and after if i slide this side this is how the skin was looking before and um this is the after you can see the uniformity on the skin and this part of her hand that are a bit that has a little bit of magenta has turned to um a bit, uh, yellow so this is the before and this is the after you can see how uniform the skin is right now and this is how you color grade your skin tone in capture one we are not done yet we are still going to be working on with the hue and saturation right here if you've learned anything from this video so far i'll give you a moment to click on the like button so more people can see this video and if you are new here click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you can get more video like this in the future so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to we can i like this image like this already but if you feel you want to work on the overall your saturation or the image all you have to do is come to this amount right here and you can add a little bit of you to the image and if i bring it all the way inside you can see this image is looking a bit greenish yellowish so i'm just going to bring it down and if you want that magenta feel on your image all you have to do is bring your hue all the way down and you're going to be getting that magenta feel on the image as you can see the image is looking more magenta like more red like this but i don't want it to be like this i feel it's too much so i'm just going to bring my hue i'm just going to bring it back to zero the way it was before i like it like this you can also play with the saturation you can reduce the saturation you can see especially if you are working with a um, black model you can make the skin look more melanin by bringing the saturation of your image down if you are working with a black model but for this i think i'm just going to leave it at zero i like it at zero because i already pick a part of the skin which i want and i've already make the other parts to look like that part which i like and you can reduce the lightness i think i'm just going to reduce the lightness of this one a little if i take it all the way down you can see it's looking dark so i'm just going to i think maybe i'll add a little bit of lightness to it so add a little bit of lightness to one i add a little bit of lightness to it so i add 1.3 bit of lightness to it so let's see our before and after so here's our before let me just zoom out these are before and these are after you can see the skin are looking good and uniform so this is how you can color grade your skin tone using capture one i don't think this option is a light tone but if um this skin tone option is a light tone let me know in the comment section below and if you learn anything from this video leave a comment below and don't forget to like this video i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative